Hola and welcome. I've decided to do a midweek uh, installation. I've decided to do a midweek video about my installation of OS X on my recent uh, ITX Hackintosh build. <laughs> it's been a long freaking day. The installation of OS X on my recent ITX Hackintosh build using tools on Tony Mac X86's website, Unipiste and Multipiste. If you wish to view the video of the build, <laughs> the link is in the description below <laughs> or the annotations around me. Anyway, let's get down to it. <laughs> okay, here we have the mini Hackintosh build, which I built uh, about two months ago, roughly. Uh, you will remember it in the video, the last video to this part. Today, I am going to install OS X El Capitan on it. Now, while I plug this in, I will show you what has to be done with the USB flash drive before you, before installation. Okay, what we need to do now is uh, go to Tony Mac X86's website, uh, go to the downloads, and download the latest UniBeast, which is 6.2, and uh, also download MultiBeast for your OS, which is in this case it's El Capitan. I have them here on my desktop. Let's just extract them. And just get rid of the, the archives. Uh, what you do is, Multibeast is for later on. Unibeast is what you want to deal with now. Uh, now it's the time to plug in your USB flash drive. Make sure it is at least 16 gigabytes. Basically, you will need another Mac or Hackintosh or access to one to be able to do this. You go into Unibeast and then you press continue. You ha these are the steps you have to take. First of all, you know, you purchase the OS X from the Mac, Mac App Store. I've already done that with El Capitan. You prepare, you know, you format your USB and then, you know, the rest. You continue with this. Agree. Then you select your disk. UEFI mod. And of course, then you enter you enter your password, and it will do everything for you. This may take a little while, so be sure to get yourself a coffee or tea or something. Okay, so we got stuff working now. It took a little while, longer than I thought. Okay, so it's done finally now. So you quit that, <clears throat> and you'll notice that it's created an EFI boot as well. Okay, go, in, go inside Unibeast and you copy this multi-piece El Capitan folder. You will need this later on once you've finally installed it. Now that we've done this, it's time to switch over to the other computer. Okay, we turn this thing on and we will get nothing because we need to turn it on in the back. <laughs> okay, we turn this thing on and we get on the screen. Okay, what we need to actually do first here is plug in the USB and make sure you plug it into a USB 2 socket and not a USB 3. That's very important. Then you go into the BIOS and okay, while you're in the BIOS make sure you set the boot option priority number one to your flash drive, the one you just put in. And also make sure that this Intel virtualization technology or VTD and VTD they're both disabled. Because these two freaking cost me so much headache. It's like wondering what, what the heck is not working and I had to kind of really dig around them to realize that this, these being enabled was the problem. These BIOS settings are you know, all set for Hackintosh because uh, this previously was a Hackintosh. By the way, this is the first time I'm installing El Capitan on this. So if there's any issues, we'll have to hope there's not. But if there is, I'll have to sort them out with you. Right, okay, so let's boot from Unibeast. Hopefully this will go smoothly. All this is going to do is take you to the um, the OSX screen and uh, install on this. Okay, fantastic. 
fantastic. It's coming up. Uh, I hope. <laughs> okay, good. Great. When you're connecting things up, make sure you're connecting, you know, wired keyboard, wired mouse, all in USB to ports, just the minimal. Because so OS X here is not recognizing the internal boot, it's only recognizing the Unibeast disk. So what we need to do now is format it because there is no... So we go into Utilities, Disk Utility, and we format this thing. Ah, okay, I think this new OSX, uh, El Capitan, needs a GUID or GUID <laughs> partition map. So let's erase that. Okay, that's done. Let's hope that it uh, recognizes. Yes, it recognizes it now. Because it needed that GUID thing. Okay, let's continue. And it should install. Okay, so now everything is installing good. So I will edit to. There's about 12 minutes remaining. But I will edit to the point where it's, you know, finished this part off. Okay, once your computer is installed. Do not remove the USB drive because uh, there is no bootloader installed, just the OS. So you need to use the Unibeast drive bootloader, the Clover one, to, in to access your HFS drive, which is your main, you know, drive in your computer where it's installed. And you need to f complete the installation, and this is where the Multibeast comes in. Now, the reason why I I put Multibeast, I copied Multibeast into the um, <clears throat> the USB drive, because just in case you don't have any internet connection whilst you're doing all this, I will set the location and everything. I want to skip this part. I don't know how to do it. There's, there used to be an option to skip this part. Now there is no option. <laughs> okay, I cannot skip this like I could last time. <laughs> the last OS, I mean. Full name A, account name A, password A, <laughs> and hint is first letter. <laughs> Okay, I'm sure the person will change that later on. Send diagnostics, no. Will you just let me get to the freaking desktop? <laughs> okay, so we safely reached the desktop without any hassle whatsoever, thank goodness. So this has uh, this install has work worked very well. What we need is... Let me just check if the sound driver is in. Okay, there's no devices. Okay, this is expected. What I need to do now is go to Multibeast. Now you can see why I installed Multibeast on this. I don't have internet connection, I don't have anything, so it's perfect here. <laughs> I needed to download Multibeast. Okay, quick start. We go into Drivers. In the audio, what you need to select is Realtek ALC892. Then you go into Disk. We'll leave that, even though later on we need to check if trim is enabled or not. I've forgotten about that. I've forgotten this. I haven't done it for a while. Network is Realtek. So we have... I'm not sure if I'm going to go with this one. They're all the same anyway, except this is the latest version. USB... Let's see if USB works fine or not. I'm going to do the minimal changes as possible, the things that you know I need. Bootloader, it's already set to Clover. UEFI boot mode, that's fine. Customize, okay, what do we do here? Okay, we go to build and then we just do install. Agree? And your password, which is A. All this can be changed later on, I'm sure, but there was no way of going into the system without, you know, putting in a fake password. <laughs> oh, install succeeded. Fantastic. So we don't. I will cop, I copy in multi based over here, so we don't need to be dependent on this USB drive. Let's restart and take it off. Okay, once your computer is installed, pull the USB out. So let's see if it works. Okay, so we have a bootloader. Fantastic. Okay, so we have A. <laughs> and let's have a look at the sound driver. Is it... Yes, sound driver is working. Fantastic. Okay, now let's test a USB 3 device. Just to keep the USB 3 uh, ports work. 
I'm gonna use my USB oops, I'm gonna use my USB 3 um, card reader and when you put it into a USB port oh it works it works <laughs> Thing is, when you put it into a USB 3 port, as far as I know, only only USB 3 things work on that. So, by the, by the way, I still haven't got USB 3 working on my main computer. You know, my Asus one. Even though I've done everything I can, I just don't know how to get it working. This thing doesn't work on mine. Maybe I'll check if there's a latest, if this Multi Beast is the latest one, and I will reinstall or something like that. So there you go, simple as that. This machine was built for the Hackintosh. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for joining me. If you wish to view the build of this, the, this, the link is in the description. Alternatively, it's somewhere in the annotations as well. <laughs> also, do check out my other videos. I do a lot of uh, projects involving many different things. My channel is about creativity, so the sky's the limit. Actually, no, it's me. <laughs> I'm the limit. <laughs> anyway, so don't forget to click like if you liked and do share and uh, leave your thoughts in a comment also and don't forget to subscribe for more for now i say adios <laughs>